Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to share with you my beach bag of beauty products. While you're watching this video, it should go up on, it should be Wednesday when you're watching this, and I am at the beach. If you follow me on Instagram, Jen D Beauty Official, I'm sure I will be posting there, but I am pre-filming for my vacation and I wanted to share with you the makeup products that I plan on taking with me when I leave tomorrow. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. I put a lot of thought into what I was bringing and what I was thinking was ease, multifunctional, long lasting. So I figured I would put my face together as if I were going to the beach, no judgment if you think I'm silly for wearing makeup on the beach. There are certain things I feel are important. Everybody's preferences are personal and I like to have a minimal amount of makeup on when I step onto that sand. It affects my confidence. I feel better about myself. So if you're like me or you find a couple of things that you like that I'm doing today, hopefully this will help you. I'm going to start with the brows, and what I am bringing is my ColourPop Brow Wax. Honestly, I would have preferred to take my e.l.f. Brow Lift. I think they are both great products, but the e.l.f. Brow Lift is a little bit easier because you just dip in. However, mine is almost gone, so I'm having a hard time getting it out of the bottom. I grabbed a little spray bottle from Shop Miss A that is almost empty, so I figure, if it leaks, it will be very little. I may even dump it and then just put water in it when I get there. So I have a spoolie with a brush on the other end. This one is from Morphe. So I just dip my brush in there and I'm going to apply that product to my brows. It's really very easy. The hold is immediate. I do use the one, I was going to say if you've been watching my channel for more than a minute, you know that I picked up the uh, Makeup Revolution one that comes, their brow glue that comes in a wand, and I do like it, but the hold, believe it or not, is not as immediate as this one or the e.l.f. Even the Benefit 24 Hour I have, I have the ABH Brow Gel, this one and the e.l.f and the NYX Brow Glue, which I'm also very low on, are the quickest holding. So I like that. I'm gonna let these set for a minute. Set this here. You always wanna make sure that you clean off that spoolie because there'll be some residue on there and you don't want that gunking up your spoolie. I did bring eye primer because I don't want any shadows to crease. This is my Juvia's Place I Prep Eye Prime. I like it if I end up one day on the beach not having anything on my eyes it'll be nice just to have the color sort of muted out on there which I like so I throw this on my lids and then I use a fluffier it's like fluffy but dense at the same time brush from BH to blend it in I just find this is quicker than my fingers and it gives an easy application for my base I have this Coats this is their Face Prime and Perfect SPF 40. It is a sheer matte mineral sunscreen. This was recommended by Jen Phelps to me. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, but I'm going to anyway. I have tried this a couple of days, uh, so I'm not 100% on my opinion yet, but this is what it looks like. And I am gonna put this on my face a little on the heavier side because I wanna make sure that I have that sun protection. And I'm even going to go under my eyes with it. It did provide a light coverage to my skin. My skin looks a little more evened out, but still very no makeup, makeup looking. I am liking this so far. So I will use this and then when I'm on the beach, I will probably spray whatever Sport 50 all over my body and I'm sure I'll hit my face with that too. Brows are probably dry so I'm going to go in with my Sephora brow pencil. Now this one I have not tested against its waterproof claims so trust me I will have an update when I get back on the uh, winners and the failures at the beach.
Now I didn't go for perfection with the eyebrows. I just want them to look a little more filled in, a little more shaped, so I am happy with that. Now I'm going in with my Becca under eye brightener. Just a touch of this. And I may not use this going on the beach. This may be more for the evenings because I am bringing, as you'll see in a second, my KVD Good Apple concealer. And it really does a good job even without this. I've just gotten into the habit of using this every day. I feel like it adds a little bit of moisture just in case my skin does want to misbehave and dry even more than it already does under my eyes. While that's setting, the LYS, this is my favorite spot concealer at the moment. And again, just anywhere that I really feel needs a little bit of extra help. I have a couple age spots, well, I have an age spot, I have an acne scar, anything that I think needs a little bit of help. And I can use I'll use another big fluffy brush. This one is, the label is off of it, but I think it is just a boxy charm set that I got. Just any big fluffy brush that you have. And I'm just tapping that in. The LYS is so lightweight and still covers anything that I need to cover. My skin showing through and I'm okay with that. For concealer, I have my KVD Good Apple for concealer under my eyes, that is. I am picking up another shade of the LYS, I just haven't yet, because I want to see if it does enough under my eyes, because under my eyes I am picky. I want that brightness, I want the smoothness, and I don't want it to be dry. So I'm just going to take that same fluffy brush, and again, very sort of minimal here. I'm just staying at the corners just like a very small inner triangle. Patting out the edges with my fingers. Maybe a little bit up here for brightening. I'm gonna set that with just a little bit of my pink Morphe setting powder just to help with any kind of creasing that could potentially happen. Just gonna use that same fluffy brush and again, the teensiest amount. I'm knocking it off. And I'm just going to tap under there. Knocking it off. Just tapping. For my bronzer, I'm bringing this new L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. This is the 24 hour fresh wear, and it is in the medium shade. There it is. And I just brought. I did not bring my good brushes. I didn't bring any of my refer brushes. Uh, I didn't bring any of my Wayne Goss brushes. I am bringing inexpensive brushes that get the job done. This one here is the e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm going to put that in there and I'm just going to lightly add a little bit of depth to my face and we'll see. We will see how this stands up to sweat. I have sweat with this on, but not at the beach. So we'll see how it behaves. Okay, maybe a little bit to the nose. A little under the chin, or under the lip. And for blush, I want to bring my cream blushes, but I just want to keep it easy. So I'm going to bring this newer e.l.f. blush quad that I picked up. I also like it because these tones seem to be a little more peachy and these tones seem to be a little more pinky. So I'm going to go in with the pink shade today. I, my bathing suit, I'm bringing two bathing suits. One is yellow and the other is black and white. So I'm going to go in I think what I'll do is I'm going to go in with this one that looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in it down here, this pink. And I'm just going to, I'm not even sure I've used this shade. I've been all about that one. I've used a couple of the peachy ones too. I'm just going to put that on. The darker version of this quad that unfortunately is no longer available is one of my most pigmented powder blushes that I own. 
So I can only assume that the later version will be the same. You will also notice that I'm bringing products that are a bit more on the inexpensive side, so it's not heartbreaking if they break in my makeup bag. I'm gonna bring my little Makeup Forever puff in case I need to blend out edges. I don't want that line between my concealer and my blush, so I'm just sort of tapping to make that look smoother. You can do that around any edges. And there's nothing on this. I grabbed this brush that came in my Sigma palette. This came in my Sigma Untamed. I like it because it's got a fluffy side and then a flat side on it, so that is easy. I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Just go right over the eye with it. And I'm gonna take that smaller side of the brush and go underneath. Perfect. For highlight, I grabbed my Flower Beauty. This is her Spotlight Liquid Highlight. And I figured if I wanted a little bit extra on my eyes, I could just tap it on with my finger. Very, very light-handed. And I will let you know if it creases or makes a mess of my eyes. For liner, I have the Sephora Retractable Waterproof Liner. This has been a favorite. I love that it's twist up so I don't have to worry about sharpening. I love that it has a smudger if I want to make it softer because I am going very, very light with the liner. Like literally just a little bit on that outside edge to provide a little bit of dimension and maybe some longer lashes. Maybe a little white liner on the bottom. This one is from BH. I'm not sure that this one is still available. I will link something similar in the description box. I heard that um, Rimmel has a good one and that's at Walmart. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my bottom waterline. Of course, I have my lash curler. Now for mascara, I am putting two different mascaras to the test this week. I bought this one from Buxom. This is Ulta had a mascara sale, so yay, got these both on sale. Buxom, this is their Waterproof Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. That is the Buxom. And then this one is from Estee Lauder. I read reviews, uh, that's how I came to my decision. And the Estee Lauder one was Sumptuous Extreme Waterproof Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. So far, I'm liking the Buxom better, but I think for today, I'll put one on each eye. So on my right, I will put the Estee Lauder. And I'm just gonna put a couple layers on each eye, and I'll be right back. Mascara is on. Right now, I feel like the Buxom is giving me a little more va-va-boom on the lashes. However, what's most important is will either of them run in the water? Stay tuned, I will keep you posted because last year I brought Monsieur Big waterproof and it was all over my face. For lips, I brought two different options. When I'm wearing minimal makeup, I really love a nice bold red lip. I've been testing out some of my favorite long lasting red lip colors this week and the winner so far is this one from Glamlight. Let me make sure that this is still available. And it is. This is the Glamlight Red Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Retails for $14. Right now it's on sale for seven. Hopefully it's not going out. I really like it. It even has a mirror on the other side if I wanted to use it, but I wore this the other day and it lasted all day through meals and seemed to wear off very nicely in the center. I, I was very, very impressed. The other liquid lip that I brought was this one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her lip color and it is in the shade Gratitude. I found that with nude colors, they can fade easily and it's not 
as big of a deal. Red is way more important when it comes to fading and breaking down because you can look a mess. This is just gonna sort of blend away. I grabbed two lip liners, my BFF3 from ColourPop to go with the Jacqueline and my Morphe Well Red for the Glam Light. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join me. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day.